What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for tuning in today, and this is going to be a love reading, so let's tap into these messages, Scorpio. Okay, so the two songs that we have here is Rihanna, Love on the Brain, and we have India Arbery, I Am Ready for Love. So, Scorpio, y'all know that we are in our seventh house right now that has to do with love, relationships, and marriage. So, I feel like a lot of you guys can have love on the brain right now. It's like you're just feeling full of love. You're looking for love. You're open to love. And you are now ready for love. I feel like you guys have possibly dealt with some things in the past that may have had you a little closed off when it came to love. But, like, now you're starting to, you know, think about love in a different way. And, and now you know what you want from a relationship, what you want from love. And it's like now you're in this energy of being more open and ready to receive love. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. So I feel like some of you guys are still kind of guarded when it comes to love. It's like, you know, we have a little bit of water here. So it's like, you know, you could have still a little emotions and stuff that's tied into a situation from your past, possibly dealing with the air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I feel like some of you guys, it could be someone new that's in your life. And it's like with this blindfold on, I feel like you're kind of frozen in fear when it comes to this new love. Like maybe you guys have met someone new, but it's like, you know, you're still kind of thinking about the past. Because it's like when you heal from something, it's like even though you healed, it's like you ain't forgot none of that shit that happened. So I feel like some of you guys are still kind of guarded when it comes to love. And you could have someone that could be trying to come towards you guys. But I feel like right now that some of you guys could be wearing a blindfold when it comes to this person. It's like you're not seeing this new person that's coming in then we have the knight of wands here so some of you guys like you're not interested in no knight of wands type shit you know what i'm saying you don't want no one who's going to be in and out of your life it's like you guys are looking for someone that's going to be a long term someone you can see yourself with long term but i feel like you have someone that has the eye on you scorpio and this could be someone that kind of sparks your attraction or you're someone that sparks this person's attraction, but I feel like you guys, y'all ain't seeing this shit, you know? Then we have the Eight of Cups. You guys have definitely walked away from people, things, places, situations that no longer serve you. You see here how we have these cups stacked up here? It was like those cups were empty. You know, you were dealing with people who didn't have anything to offer you. It was like you had, your cup was full when it came to your offers and the things that you did. But I feel like, you know, these people didn't have anything to offer you. So you guys are walking away from those people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Those people that had empty cups for you. You know, these people that couldn't give you shit back in return. So y'all like, fuck that shit. I feel like you guys are in this queen of swords energy. It's like now you're thinking more logical now. You know, you're no more rational. You're more logical. You guys are very independent. But I feel like you could be a little bit emotionally attached here. Remember I talked about this Ada Swords here. How it's just a little bit of water. You know, water has to do with emotions. So I feel like because of things that happened in your past or people, places, and situations from your past, it's like now you're more logical. Now you're more rational. You're independent. But you're a little bit emotionally detached it's like you got your sword up and you ready to cut a motherfucker left and right a motherfucker ain't gonna do good ain't gonna treat you right because i feel like now you know your worth you have self-love you've grown in a lot of ways i want to say congratulations scorpio for doing putting in that hard work and loving yourself first so it's like now you're not here for that motherfucking bullshit you know it's like some of you guys could spend a lot of time alone it's like you're kind of disconnected from other people at this time, you're just focused on yourself. You're focused on your future. You're focused on your goals. But it's like you still could be wanting to maybe be involved in a relationship, a loving relationship, but you're just a little guarded. Then we have here soulmate. So I feel like you guys could possibly be meeting your soulmate. Some of you guys, your soulmate is already in your energy and you don't even see it because you got this blind photo. You start, you're still thinking about things and situations from the past here. Let's do a little bit more tarot. What message do you have for my Scorpios today, Spirit? We got card. I feel like some of you guys, it's like you're you're waiting for that person that has potential. It's like you know you got the whole world in your hands right now. You're focused, and it's like you know you've made a choice because you see he has his hand on this one here and this one here. You know he doesn't have his hand on. So it's like you've walked away from things in your past, and you're holding on and you're focused now on your future. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today, Spirit? 
But I feel like when it came to love, you know, some of you guys, like I said, you still had that blindfold on. But I feel like now you want to choose love. It's like you weren't making any decisions. You could have been stuck for a long time when it came to love and thinking about love. But I feel like now some of you guys don't want to be a little bit more open when it comes to love. Let me get one more card here. Then we're going to pull from this romance message and see about this new love. Okay, then we have here, yeah, you guys were stuck, you were holding on. Some of you guys are still holding on to the past, and you need to let that go because when this new love comes into your life, you know, you don't want to run them off or, you know, hold on to the past and then possibly mess up a new connection because of what the past, you know, how your past was. So give me some messages for my Scorpios. Hold on, y'all, guard down. Okay, but when it comes to love, Scorpio, know that you will have success. You will have success in love because there is no greater goal than love, you know? So I feel like if you're still holding on to your past, you know, if you got someone in your energy now, Scorpio, but you were in a blindfold, you can't even see that shit because you're still thinking about the past. It's like, know that you will be successful when it comes to love, Scorpio. Just because shit didn't work out in the past, so I mean, the universe ain't going to present you with something new, Okay. Then we have health there. Some of you guys are focusing on your health of this person. This new person that you're dealing with, you know, that may be like a little health fanatic. You know, that may kind of help you get more, you know, do more exercise and you know, get more healthy. Because this person, you know, they, they honor their body. They honor their shrine. And so they want you guys to also be healthy as well. So this new person that you're dealing with, you know, they're going to want you to honor your body that's your temple. They're going to help you become more healthy. What message do you have for my Scorpios today, Spirit, when it comes to love? What message do you have for my Scorpios today when it comes to love here? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want, Scorpio, so it comes to you now. So for you guys that are open to love, you got love on the brain and you're wanting to, you know, receive love, clearly decide what you want because very soon you can have some love coming to you, Scorpio. Then we have chemistry. You and this person are going to have a lot of chemistry. There's going to be a strong magnetic connection between you and this person. What message do you have for my Scorpios? I'm loving this Scorpio. This is beautiful. And this is because you guys separated yourself from other people. You walked away from pe people, places, and things that no longer served you. So you chose to separate yourself. You chose yourself first when it came to people that... You know that, that you weren't going to get nowhere with, Scorpio. All right, you guys. That's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.